All right, interesting item on the bench tonight. It's a 1930s RCA oscillograph, basically oscilloscope. And these are apparently really hard to come by and I picked it up on a business trip. It was my carry-on item coming home. Pretty funny to see, but TSA didn't give me any problems. Uh, but it was in great condition. The guy I picked it up from said that came from a hoarder's house and he had some cool stuff, but a lot of junk. And this was one of the items. So I picked it up when I was in upstate New York. This looks about a two to three inch um, CRT. Um, I've seen one video on YouTube of this working. Uh, but I'm interesting to look in the back. I wasn't able to open it when I was on the trip because I didn't have my tools with me. So let's get this thing open. How cool is this? So what tubes do we got here? A Raytheon. That's oh, an 80. We got a 6C6 right there. What else we got here? An 885. A 6C6. Whoa, look at this big electrolytic four microfarads at 600. Look how big that is for four microfarad. Wow. Got another one here. Those look time period correct. Um, a fuse right here. Pots need to be cleaned and all the uh, CRT hookups down here. End of it, there's no sort of just, you know, cap that you put on the back. Oh, there is. So yeah, all the hookups right here. Let's take a look under. Wow, this is very um, 1930s RCA. So yeah, the RCA 143 I have, have these as well with the components just stretched across. Wow, I think these are all original components. Possibly. How cool is that? And I was the one that cut the power cable because I don't want to deal with it going through security. And I just wanted to, I'm gonna replace it anyway so I thought I'd get it out of the way. So it looks like the hot side goes straight to the fuse back there, and then the neutral to here. Wow, this is cool. Well, maybe it has had some work done to it. Because this, the solder on top of that point looks a bit newer. Um, could be wrong. Maybe they were just all hand soldered back then so they all look sort of hand done need to clean all these pots for sure but yeah i'm definitely wanting to get this all the caps replaced restored and get this thing working this thing is really cool and so there was a first model of this that was the 151-1 and it had i believe a one inch picture tube that would, it was a lot smaller than this and it didn't jut out from the cabinet. But yeah, how about that? Vertical and horizontal attachments there. Oh yeah, this'll be sweet. What was that, a filter choke? Just completely coated in wax. What's this one? I can't see it. 150 volt. What do we got here? This 
so it's uh, 10 microfarad and 100 at, well, how many we got going to it? We got two going to it. So what, a 10 and a 100? What's the four there for? Four through 10, so anything in that, in that range, I guess? All right, so the 100 microfarad and the 10 microfarad, nothing. Yeah, not even 0 0.08, 0 0.01. Yeah, not even, it's just dried out, nothing going on there. But first things first, I put in a new power cable that old one was crusty but you know slow and steady this is so clean I love this like early test equipment because you know they're they were I feel like they were rarely ever used so they're just always in great condition it looks gorgeous all right so I was wrong it is four and ten microfarads and that is 100 to 450 voltage because I found the service manual and what I love about these early 30s electronics is that they give you uh, where to go the schematic over here and then the actual layout of everything so here is that capacitor right here so it shows green going into it, which is four, and then the black going into it is 10. And then ground right here. And then that's also linked to this other capacitor up here, which is four and four. So yeah, there was no 100 microfarad, thank God. Um, so I need three 4.7 microfarad caps and a 10. And uh, yeah love that i can just go online and get the service data for this so you can see this was the first mod the 151-1 had a little one inch crt and then the next edition had the they increased an inch um but yeah i mean mine looks in excellent condition it's very great to see, and the RCA logo is beautiful. I haven't seen one in this great a condition before online. Alright, I replaced the uh, electrolytics. I just hate how botched in they look. I mean, maybe I'll do some supports here, but it's just... You know, the big ones just fit in so well with how much space there is. And, you know, with new electrolytics, they're just so tiny. You just really gotta just connect the wires. Uh, let's go for a soft power up. I'm interested. Alright, so it's drawing watts. It's good. I think it's supposed to go up to 50 at 120 volt. Well, I'm only getting a. Uh... Oh, probably because of. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's... Why isn't it going all the way across? Oh, see, it, it showed it for a second. What's going on? I'm trying to get it over to the left side, but it seems like it's not getting a full sweep there. So we got horizontal centering, vertical, intensities all the way up. Vertical is reacting to my finger. Oh, 
Wait, what did I just do? Nothing. What? Was it the game that was messing it up? Interesting. There we go. Whoa. Cool. Was it the. Is the vertical gain messing it up? There we go. Oh, that's so cool. Focus is still a little off. That makes sense. I've literally only replaced the electrolytics here. Dude. Whoa. Sweet. So yeah, we got a we got a scope here. Very cool. So here's the where I'm touching right here. Just on the vertical uh, input right here. Whoa, how about that? I mean, things were created so perfectly back then. What, well, replaced two electrolytics and it just fucking works? Are you kidding me? I want to see if I can put a signal into it, an audio signal, see if we can get something. Oh yeah. Cool. Whoa, there we go, we got a sawtooth. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, let's see. Let's do a square. <laughs> no way. Oh, that's so sweet. So the gain works on the horizontal. See it on the vertical. Oh yeah, how about that? Alright, this was just a quick video. I'm not gonna replace any of the capacitors under it. I want to keep all that original, but just have the electrolytics replaced. I just wanted to show it working. And yeah, it is working. This is really freaking cool. So yeah, that's, that's really all I wanted to show. Quick video.